Hi there, artisans! Welcome back to this channel. This is Rochelle Rosenberg. On point. Now is my time to shine. So let's get started into this painting. As you can see, I have put on the basic primer on my canvas. And for you to understand, I know that there are many kinds of paintings about these kind of birds. And I have been desiring to paint this bird for a long time. If I could remember, I think it had been two years, I suppose. And before that, I just had the idea to paint and the desire came on like almost every time. And every time I tried to paint, I was actually stuck in the middle of nowhere and I don't know, don't know why. So if we get along with some information about this bird, please just listen for a while. This bird is called the bird with 1,000 eyes. The peacock is one of the most beautiful birds. It carries this metallic green and the eyes that has different colors and the metallic colors of it, which is very interesting to paint or to picture. You know, even just to take a picture of its uh, tail when it's outspread and hang it on the wall, it would look so much beautiful. And that is why many painters are actually drawn to it and even photographers. Now, when it comes to the physical characteristics, peacocks are a type of large pieces known for the beautiful colored feathers. The tail feathers, also called collards, make up more than 60% of the bird's total body length, with only males having the colorful blue and red iridescent feathers. Well, the one that is more popular among these peafalls are the one that has like an Indian uh, descent. And it's very interesting to know that uh, most of the well-known zoo or like if you have a reservation places in each country if you are living in a cold country they have peafalls as well and they probably come from the breeders because most of the breeders have must have to have a 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit just to incubate these kinds of peafalls now regarding to this painting i actually have different kinds of mindset with this um, in china you can see a lot of paintings about peoples and they have this kind of significance and symbol in every painting in every country and as for me i really admire the magnificent color of uh, this painting Actually, the male um, pheasant sometimes represents a little bit of an emperor because the sexual life of the pheasant male, actually, he can um, have a... Uh, he can mate with as many female as he can, you know? So he would create a lot of uh, babies with different females but anyway if you would ask me which is my very very favorite uh, bird among all I would say it was the swan and that's a little bit of uh, interesting painting I've ever done already before now if we go back to this uh, bird this is more interesting to paint because of the blending colors, you know, this metallic green, metallic brown, and as you can see, I have already established just the shadow of the female, and 
the female feathers is actually light brown and she look very very white but she have this kind of light brown in her feathers and a very long white tail with a little bit of uh, stripe of the brown colors and I struggled a little bit to paint the uh, male because it has blue black and uh, green color so I established all the dark colors first as you can see and on the middle of the neck it was like dark blue so I started just to imagine the colors and basics not being disturbed with all the details that I see on the neck on the feathers and uh, on the tail you know so while I was thinking I actually painted the background the sky so that I won't be disturbed with that later and that I could establish just the kinds of image that I would like into this picture and since it had been quite a while since I painted a picture which would be with my own style and technique I was thinking that let me try this uh, painting and let me think on how I will establish the colors and the details and the composition of this bird. So that was a long explanation. Now we're gonna go on to the uh, shadowing of the uh, female bird. So I am focusing right on the feet and just trying to establish the basic information of the feet and the claw and since we are looking on this image and imagining that the female is a little bit further from the viewer or a little bit further according to the image of the canvas then I was trying to uh, paint around it with a brown or a brown umber and establishing all the feet and you know it's not so much details in it because it's a little bit further away from the viewer so I just have to establish like the basic things like probably the highlight where are the shadows located from just like the the feather you know just this easily seen in an image and I actually just uh, go around the picture and uh, establishing the the feathers and the tails actually and it's quite um, amazing to uh, use different kinds of techniques in here now going on to the uh, male this is quite difficult because I'm trying to paint it with dry and wet on wet so on the neck I try to paint it dry and then on the uh, wings I try to paint it lightly with uh, wet on wet but it didn't really work and it really didn't uh, do as I wanted it to be so I waited quite a moment just to let it dry and then layered it again with a very very tight and white painting and then I covered it with a little bit of brown and top of that is dots from another brush just giving it a stroke of the dark spots over the um, feather now I'm going to blend and identify the details like the black parts or higher up of the tail and mixing it with the green and the blue just to distinguish the differences of colors and blending it together so I'm working on here with a wet on wet technique and it's very very interesting to mix them very well because you will be challenged actually and to mix the colors is kind of interesting when you have limited palette like the if you are 
watching me to paint like from the old videos mostly I have RGB colors the red green and blue and then I have the white so the black ones I usually mix it with blue red and then green so they will turn out actually to become a little bit of dark gray you know so depending on your uh, coloration um, it would appear a little bit black now working on on the background while the uh, tail is trying to dry I actually painted them a little bit of um, just some shadows you know just to distinguish the shadows and the, the leaves that are coming nearer me and now we're starting right to the eyes of these feathers and the tails it's quite interesting to paint them because I could notice now that even if the tails are black they are actually not really black because when I painted now the, the, the thousand eyes of the tails I could see that the dark actually reflects to become dark and the shadows of the tails or the feathers hairs actually are coming out you know and I'm so amazed that even though it was challenging for me to paint this I I am very confident that I succeeded So, let me tell you a story about peacock. It's called like that in Chinese. Now, the handsome male peacock struts around showing off its amazing eye tail feathers to a passing peahen. It is an emblem of beauty and dignity. In the Ming and Qing dynasties, the seniority of officials could be judged by the number of decorations can represent the wish to become an official. The Queen Mother of the West is sometimes depicted riding a peacock or with feathers in her hair. There is a legend of a beautiful daughter who set a challenge to select the man to marry her. She painted a peacock on a screen and the first Tang Emperor Gao Zhu won her hand by shooting an arrow through both eyes of the peacock in the painting and this led to the phrase choose by hitting the screen of birds which expresses the wishes to catch an ideal partner and for the reason it is actually true that the peacock actually represents the dancing just to find the right partner that is why also that the, the male um, spreads out its tails and expresses these kinds of dance for its possible partner. Now, connected to beauty and wisdom, peacocks are symbols of status and wealth. They are looked as their earthly version of the phoenix. Peacocks have colorful iridescent tail feathers and these Elegance is truly a rare find in the natural world. Also, the many eyes and the fan tail nod to wisdom and seeing things as they are in the world with true brilliance, including peacock bloom or images of peacock feathers can invite the energy of beauty and wisdom to your home. Now regarding to that beauty that I was talking about, beauty and wisdom, it's actually understood within life that I really love the symbol even of these hidden eyes of the peacock you know where there are many things in our lives like right now where 
we don't actually look on the necessary things in life. Sometimes there are important messages in life where we miss the important and necessary messages or important details we see in our surroundings and we just try to keep ourselves being busy in unnecessary things. What I mean by that is that many people think that they are wise and beautiful because of the confirmation they could get from another person, forgetting though that wisdom is earned through the experiences and through learning with hard work and effort in everything that you do with dedication. And beauty by itself is also gained by the characteristics and the performance of you performing within the midst of trials. And as a symbol of status and wealth, mostly we know that people who get rich are sometimes seen to be very wealthy but actually if you know the story of their wealth you probably will think that it's not even worth it so the symbol of status and wealth imagine the peacock they gained this kind of status of being known right so that's their wealth they're being known they are being seen everywhere and it means that this kind of status is being attained by all these kinds of efforts and searching and you know you have to really put your energy to it and this elegance will just burst out from you without you even trying so hard because naturally this wealth will come to you if you just uh, do things in beauty and wisdom of elegance of honesty and uh, the many eyes is that you have to look on the beauty part of this world or not ignoring even the hardest part of life even the ugliest side of yourself or the ugliest part of you you have to accept that because that is the main beauty that you have so that you could become a peasant and who knows who knows if one day you're gonna be one of the most well-known or who knows if how much you have done into your surroundings you have contributed just enough of your uh, purpose in this earth you might not never know because in every day you live your purpose is being fulfilled eventually so I just want to say that be thankful every day and probably I don't suggest that you will uh, try to make as much as you can no 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 <laughs> but try to uh, become like the peasant in this kind of elegant way with its colors and the symbolism of it not by the mate searching though right
I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this painting and I just hope that you learned a lot of techniques in here. And if you really want to uh, learn how to paint this in your own pace, you can pause them, you can watch them over and over and over again. By the way, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to this channel so that you could see much more of this kind of painting. And uh, I'll share you much more of techniques and other stuff that I do within art. So, I hope to see you again on the next art. Shadows of the night, and also then you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Ignite. Play the intuition upon the stars in the night that creeps in. To you, they listen to me, you ascend to the wishes. Listen, do your own math, and learn from the stuff that you are missing. Create your own path with your own vision.